In the last video, I did a comparison of Unity Visual Scripting and Unreal Blueprint. And on that video, I got a comment asking what about Blueprint's nativization? For those that are not really sure what I'm talking about, Blueprint has an option of converting those visual graphs that you create to C++ code before you compile your game. And that option I thought was on by default, but apparently it wasn't. So the results that I was expecting to get from Unreal Blueprints, I wasn't able to get because of that option being turned off. So I decided to turn that on and see how it actually compares with Unreal Blueprints and C Sharp. Now in the last video, I did demonstrate that Unreal Blueprints is faster than visual scripting. But let's take a look at the improvement that we can get from turning the option on for Blueprints nativization. The results that you're seeing here are in seconds and I was timing how long it took for 100,000 of these type of operations to execute. So here are the results at the top for the for loop. We can see that it's actually a significant improvement when you turn that option on. And if we take a look, it's actually about two times slower than C Sharp which was what I was expecting to get from Blueprints. But to get that result, you actually have to turn on the nativization option. So I'm very satisfied with this result now. For addition and multiplication, it's around four times slower than C Sharp, and that's still pretty good. Now, if we take a look at the parley noise, you can see that Unreal Blueprints nativization actually getting faster speed than C Sharp. Well, this is not actually a correct comparison because in the Unreal Blueprints, I'm not using a 2D parallel noise, I'm actually using Simplex 2D noise. And in C Sharp, I'm actually using a 2D parallel noise. So that's probably where the difference is. But for the random, you can see that it's actually almost exactly the same. And this is probably the result that you would expect if you're going to be running libraries that are written in C++ and you're just accessing those libraries with blueprints and executing them there. You'd expect them to run about the same as actually just running C++ because most of the work is actually done on C++ and the overhead that we have on Blueprint to actually execute is fairly small when you have nativization turned on. So similar for variable operations, you can see that it's fairly close to what we're getting for C Sharp. For the if statement, we're also around three to four times slower, which is around 50 times faster than running it just using Blueprints and having the Blueprints nativization turned off. I did get some requests to make Blueprint tutorials and I'll see if I can make that happen. If you found the video helpful, be sure to click on that like button and I'll see you in the next one.